the Wine W. Melly murder trial was officially over. For now, the jury sent in a jury inquiry form indicating that they were still deadlocked, meaning they couldn't come to a decision. So Judge John Murphy officially declared a mistrial, and we're gonna have to do this all over again in the coming months. I'm honestly a little disappointed that there wasn't a verdict. This is how it works. Let's get right into this video. Hit subscribe. Thanks for all the support. Hats on coughboys.com. Let's get right into this. I have a jury inquiry form that said we request to look at Christopher Thomas's phone damaged blue phone. So counsel, uh, my understanding is we're going to send the phone back with gloves. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Everybody agrees with that? Yes, sir. All right. Gary, could you take the phone back with gloves? Yes. So about four hours in today, they asked for Christopher Thomas's phone to look at. It really states uh, one is lunch. They asked when is lunch? Melly in the blue suit again. About five hours in today. Already just a lot of deliberations, only two questions about Christopher Thomas's cell phone and lunch. He looks a little shocked on his face right now. See the juror in 44. It uh, indicates uh, that after further discussions, reviewing the evidence and speaking freely amongst the jurors, we are unable, we are still unable to reach a unanimous decision. Uh, so at this time, uh, what uh, I am going to do is just uh, declare a mistrial, a mistrial, uh, and. Uh, indicate to you that uh, how much we appreciate the fact that you were here you know, I'm trying to tell jurors at the beginning of the trial process uh, is how much we appreciate the fact that they're here and holy shit we have to do this all over again in like three to six months or something wow I'm a little disappointed in this jury, I'm going to be honest, but I understand how it works, but damn. I would imagine they're going to try to get Melly out on like house arrest or something. In the time being, they're definitely going to push for that. Our system doesn't work uh, without getting people from the community to come in here and listen to the facts of the case and make decisions. Uh, these type of decisions, they're hard decisions. We very much appreciate the fact that you gave us the time because we've been here a long time. We understand that no jury can ever be required to talk about the discussions that occurred in the jury room except by court order to remain their private affair as long as they wish it. Therefore, the law gives you a unique privilege not to speak about the jury work. You also have a right to refuse to speak with anyone. A request may come from those who are simply curious or from those who might seek to find fault. And again, I want to thank you very much for your time and attention. I please very much appreciate it. I wonder what he's thinking right now, bro. The prosecutor and the state has to decide if they want to retrial him and do it all over again, which I'm sure they will. I think they're about to bring that up right here. How do you want to address this now, Thank you set a date. Okay. We have to start with the 90 days. Unless defense counsel that. You said something about 90 days, starting back up in 90 days. Mm -hmm. that we set this in the week for uh, our status. Is there any objection there? So why don't we put it on the docket for next Friday? We're all good? Yes, sir. All right. So I'll see you back at 28th. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it all. Thank you. This is the last we're going to see Melly for a while right here until the next trial. I cannot believe that just happened. He's smiling. He's happy about something. But he's got to do this all over again. He might get out on house arrest. I doubt it, though. They're going to push for that for sure. All right. Well, this is wrapped up, boys. I appreciate the support throughout this trial. We're going to have to redo this in the coming months. Defense and the prosecutor both have seen their cards pretty much so they can both strategize and see what they can do differently to try to get a better verdict in their favor it could get even more interesting but wow am i disappointed in this jury i'm gonna be honest i'm a little disappointed it was only one or two full days of deliberating and then this happened they were they were deadlocked whoever was saying he was not guilty and guilty were very passionate about it and they didn't want to move but now he goes back into jail until this happens again i'll keep covering trials i'll do the i believe his name's brian koberger one i'll do that if that's cool and any other interesting trials that are happening let me know in the comments hats on go cop that right now appreciate you guys peace out